What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel today. We've talked about mod tools a couple of times here on the channel, but this one's a somewhat of an update of that because there has been a little bit of progress in terms of what we can see with the alpha of mod tools. Now, for those that are interested in mod tools, it's currently not available to absolutely everybody. A very select few have access to it right now because it's still in the basic building blocks, or rather semi-advanced basic building blocks of what it's going to be whenever it actually goes live to everybody. And well, as of a few days ago, there weren't many assets outside of the multiplayer aspect for mod tools. There were some campaign assets, and to top it off, there weren't many, if any at all, for assets included in the zombies portion of Black Ops 3. So that actually did get a little bit of an update here in the last couple of days, and mod tools now include zombies assets. They gave assets from the giant, no other map just yet, but at the point in time, there's still a lot of what we use currently found within the giant. So there's a lot of cool stuff that can be here. ZCT Chaos posted some screenshots over on his Twitter of the assets and the editable factors within that with zombies, so it's very cool to see the progress of this, and I want to share a little bit here of it with you guys. Now, obviously, I don't just have screenshots for you guys. We've also got some footage of the zombies landing or testing map within the very base mechanics of the development of zombies maps. This is in every single game, maybe not this specific one, but every single Call of Duty game with zombies. It's built up from this very basic form, and then to what you see in-game. Now, the footage is courtesy of the user Waka or Ugo, as his YouTube channel goes by, but nonetheless, he is somebody in the alpha of the mod tool, so he has access to this kind of stuff, and he's the first one that actually has some footage, not just screenshots, of what the alpha of Zombies mod tools looks like, and this opens up absolute worlds for Zombies creators and custom mappers, all that kind of stuff. For those that do not know, World at War Zombies is actually still very much so alive on PC due to custom mods and maps, and whenever you take that and then transport it over into Black Ops 3, that just says tons to what you can do in terms of map creation. So my guess is as soon as this goes live to everybody, it's out there in the public out of the beta, World of War is kind of going to drop off and then Black Ops 3, since it's a more updated version, is going to be what it was in a much more modern standpoint in terms of development. But nonetheless, it's something to be very excited for if you are a PC player and it's something that I cannot wait until it is actually released in its entirety or at least to a public beta. I would love to get my hands on this, though I'd probably not be able to do anything near what these custom mappers would be able to do, but nonetheless, it now opens up a ton in terms of the options for content, various DLC, if you want to put it that way, for the community in terms of going forward, and it also just brings to life a whole new creative side of the community that I think is going to absolutely flourish. But that's going to wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to showcase this here for you guys a little bit. And with that said, if you guys did like the video, be sure to like rating down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We are oh so close to 40,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help and is, of course, greatly appreciated. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Forgot to say that. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.